Hello YouTube, welcome back. I am Ars Techne, and this is the Empire of the Godoleth. Um Science Ship really? Why why are you blocking my my awesome my awesome Empire's name? Seriously. Um anyways, as uh we are pretty much continuing exactly from where we left off last time. Uh the Merry Marauders destroyed our frontier outpost, of which we had finished at the beginning of the last episode and we're trying to rebuild it again now we did increase our fleet size since um if we got locked off from over here it wouldn't have mattered anyways we just regained the resources right here so we should be gaining tons of resources and we pause it can make another colony ship there's three why is there three? Oh, what's this no, yes, we definitely want the border range modifier. <laughs> um, it'll be ready in about a year. Um, as for you, um, oh, that's right. I don't have enough minerals now because I just built something huge. Oh, here we go. They were like, oh, you want to make that? Are you guys, wait, wait, I got to see if they're jumping. To Vistalis. Yeah, they're jumping. They're uh, heading over to Vistalis. Okay. We need to jump too. Yep, that's fine. Ah! Thought you could get away. Could, did you? Oh dear, they're using... They're using uh, missiles. We have not installed the missiles on ours yet. Oh, come on. Kick, kick their mu muffins. Okay, um, science ship, research project. Yeah, they took out two of our ships. Dang it. Um, go repair. Um, although that does take care of them for the most part, that they will not be bothering me again for the time being. So, Because all they have left is their station, of which is not very effective at... Uh, going out and attacking things so um wow they already got back hmm. um but 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 we almost have our new colony ship um nice nice that, that was actually all really good stuff um Build another hydroponics right there. Wait, stuff is going by too fast. Um, okay. Did it say research complete? No. Okay. Um, now that we're done with some of that, we I should really yeah, go shrink that. Really uh, do some of these. So. Okay. There we go. Um, they're in orbit. Spaceport. Let's. Actually, let's update the hailstorm uh, to have nuclear missiles instead. Save. Yes. Um, have the disaminio, what, whatever that is, to upgrade. As well as Mishle to build... Well, we only can build one right now, so. But to start building more. Um, okay, we have all of those. We have the colony ship. Let's go to Hojem. So we have Ajem, and now we are going to get Hojem. The tropical world, size 20, which is nice. That's the continental. Okay, colonize planet. Um, if we drop it on the food, it'll give us extra food um, on that. So we'll have one person who's making like four to five food, which will enhance the speed drastically. Hojem Prime, that's good. Um, the fact that it costs influence, I think with this government mod to land a colony ship somewhere, actually gives a use for influence that's pretty important that I have to be saving it up 
<laughs> if I want to uh, be colonizing. So what are you? Oh, you're just researching. That's fine. Do your thing. Um, I need 101 to build. Oh, yes. Let's. Um, hunting them would net a loss anyways. So we would get research option frequency tuning. And we get a little bit of tech towards it. Okay, cool. Um, so we have s one of our things repaired. Cla gas lithophythons. Yeah, there's no reason to attack them at the moment because if you attack them, then all of them that may come your way will start attacking. So, uh, space amoebas. Very nice, very nice. Um, mining two, which is good. Um, oh, that's right. We got this from the pirates. Um, mineral storage capacity. Well, we haven't been using any of our mineral storage, so. And I, oh, but it unlocks the Corvettes. I really like the Corvettes. Um, you know what? We need power. Let's start researching ways of getting more power. We have enough materials to start mining those energy nodes. Uh, we'll get these ones right after. Um, Hojim Prime. Oh, gosh, that means we're going to be negative on energy, though, right? Or no, we're at zero because of that. Okay. Um, there's a lot of energy over there, too. <clears throat> we do need continental worlds, though, too, because uh, that is that planet right there is what's going to link the two sections, so... Um, we do need the continental planets. Um, there's a big continental one over here, too. Now, here, this gap is going to be a problem. Um, because there are no... Well, I guess it's not going to be a terrible problem because there's no planets down here. Like, if somebody gets right here, we will still kind of secure this lane, I believe. Um, okay, after you're done there... Build mining stations there because we'll get more energy out of that. And then build mining station up there. Um, we're just, we're now filling out our territory in terms of the mining stations and stuff. Oh, cool. There's nothing over there. So let's send a ship over there. Uh, mining drones. We are getting lots of money now. Um, Corvette. Oh, we already have the Corvettes. It's the uh, shipyard thing that we unlock if we did the um, space station. Um, we do need to kick the the heinies of some of these other space creatures. Oh, um. There are habitable worlds. Biologists have collected a vast amount of stuff. Um, wow. Energy credits gained. Nice. Um, excellent. And then we have this. Yes, research that. Um, let's figure out what the Delta aliens are. And finally getting those done. <laughs> um... We have found a sensor array solemnly s standing watch on Euroglia. Where is... Oh, over there. Okay. Um, it was built recently, but it's not functioning. It would require both repairs and research to bring it back into working condition. Ooh, I'll get a tech research option, though. I 
I like the idea of dismantling and reverse engineering it because we'll be able to rebuild it if we can do that. So, oop, uh, colony development speed. That's nice. Um, fusion power, blue lasers. Oh, we're getting so much now. Um, planet sensor range. Oh, physics, society, and engineering. Oh, and it is a purple, which is a rare technology. But energy capacity and blue lasers and deflectors and oh, oh my. Okay, yeah, we need this. Um, though, we we definitely need that. Um. Let's go over here and build mining stations over here. I think that might take more energy, but you know what? We are actually doing just fine with energy, but that we don't have enough materials to continue that, so we will actually ignore it for now. Um, I, I feel like this is actually moving too fast. I'm gonna slow it down for a moment. 0% <laughs> risk failure. Um. Wait, what's over here? Did we get anything from any of that? From the... Oh, we must have failed it. The uh, shipyard. Um, so many things were happening. I missed it. Oh, gosh. Um, okay, we do have back up to six. So let's kick some... Alien rear end. Oh, nice. Um, abandoned amusement park. Guards didn't look mostly. Place where you would take your young and amuse themselves. Okay, nice. Society and engineering research. That's actually pretty good. Void clouds. Oh, there's a void cloud? One of those are void clouds? Oh, okay. Um... Let's actually start both of these. Try to get some of these gone. <laughs> um, but yeah, those are kind of like extra missions that you can take on. Not needed, but they can provide beneficial effects a lot of the time. So. Okay, let's stop surface because I wasn't looking at these. Build hydroponics. You build hydroponics. You you can upgrade? Why can't, why can you not upgrade? Upgrade it. Oh, cause it requires a lot. Okay. Oh, oops. Um, chat function. No, go away. <laughs> no, chat function, stop. <laughs> okay. Or actually command input. Um, I, I very much so doubt that that's, well, it might be the chat. But anywho, they're investigating other stuff. They're investigating other stuff. But we are really close to that border range increase. <laughs> really close. Um, but yeah, we're sending out our people to get that. The Void Clouds are, as far as the Enten researchers can tell, among the oldest entities in the universe. Uh, damage, we get physics research. And the cloud buster modifier, which gives us damage to void clouds. Can these... Mm. They're not very strong, or at least the one I see isn't very strong. So... Hostile fleet's presence? Yes, I'm hoping to kick their booties a little. I am going to lose a couple more ships, though, because not all the ships are powerful enough. Um, oh, that's right. We need to save up, though. Start building planetary stuff. Um, survey that. You were done, right? With... Oh, no, they, they weren't. Okay. Oops. Okay. We'll get the other one in. Get that surveyed. Um, 
I could get another colony over. No, I can't because they won't go through these. And the, that's a 400 space amoeba. So no one's going to go through that. Although these people might be able to jump to the howling vortex. Um, they, this empire cannot jump that far. So I don't think. Yeah, that looks a little too far. Although they may... See, that's the thing is we could go across this, but they can't. Um, that's the thing about the hyperspace lane is that distance does not matter. All that matters is the um, is that there's a lane right there. So, yes, sorry. are you guys fighting? Um, I'm sure that these guys are moving into you guys not fighting fight 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 no you're not okay um what's this military power okay get close but do not engage the oh or okay cool um free floating crystalline ob like objects observed in certain systems have been investigated. These ship-sized objects are smaller, but equally crystal-like satellites that first appear to be inert, but okay, these are the crystalline entities. Um, Let's do a remote study. How do we do the remote study? Oh, okay, now they're attacking. Okay, that, they'll take the physics. Drifting cloud. Oh, a system that is home to the void cloud. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, one chip down. Come on, take him out. Uh, two ship down. Three ship down. We're still doing much more damage, but at the same time. Okay. And those missiles, we, oh gosh, they have missiles too. Um, um, the crystalline means so Compromise between rival factions, xenobiologists, and xenogeologists. <laughs> well, that makes sense. Probably alive. <laughs> a crystalline energy entity system when entered. Um. Excuse me. Oh, bumping the mic too. Um, it contains basic information about distance star, distance system using plant options. We will use the information to deduce the location and potential resources of the station. Okay, or system. Now, see the problem with three small ships attacking one big ship is that. Um, I can lose attack power as the fight goes on that a bigger ship could actually win because uh, it's just it can slowly whittle me down so that's the concept is bigger ships are actually better because of that but um, this bar will jump down once I lose this Corvette because watch it's like yeah winning 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 and then should jump back to the left quite a bit. Oh, no, it didn't. Okay. Okay. Uh, you come in here and do that real quick. This should be dead by the time you jump in. And then you can then research that right after. 
Okay, uh, you go repair, and I'm gonna have to build more ships, but that's okay. Um, time project. Oh yeah, I, I'm going to get those. Inactive buildings, probably on Hojim. Yeah. Where did he go? Oh, that is a good spot for a one of those too. Um, why could I not upgrade you? Oh, requires at least five population. Oh, okay. So yeah, I think the Empire mod shows upgrades. I, I don't know what the Empire mod did, but or the uh, government mod did, but there's a lot different about, or unless the game updated more recently and I just am not paying it. And I just didn't play it for so long that um, I'm not sure what has changed, but. Okay, and then survey that. Oh, cool, and you could do research project. Oh, dear. Where are you going? Okay, good. It bypassed, so. Oh, wow, void cloud and space amoeba. Can I actually see in here? Oh, are they going to fight each other? Yeah, they're going to fight each other. If uh, this doesn't recharge. Okay. No, it recharged. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. Um, oh, there's the distant system. Oh, need research. We got the borders. Um... What does this do? Energy siphon damage, cooldown, accuracy, range, 50% armor penetration. Um, we can make our leaders live longer. <laughs> Not that they don't have almost an inter eternity to live. Let's start getting tile blockers because we do need to research stuff. Oh yeah, that's just outside. It looks like it's inside, but if you look, there's this little circle down here, which means on the plane in which these bubbles show the empire, it's just in their empire, even though the extension up makes it look like it's in ours. So... Oh, there's actually eight in there? Oh, yeah, I have the construction going there, right? Um, well, not yet, but soon enough. Lots of energy and minerals over there. Um, okay. Oh, actually, what time is it? Oh, okay. Well, we're still good on the recording. <laughs> Almost lost track here because all the episodes have been going by so fast. I'm like, oh, my gosh, what time is it? But... Um, it looks like we may expand our borders to here before anyone actually does anything with it. So nice, not, not a lot, but it's something. Um, once that's our, in our grasp, we can grab that. Um, any other star systems that are not surveyed? Um, this is close enough. And it, it's a desert world, so we'll be able to get that. Let's survey that real quick. And that. Oh, yay. Research it up. Um, okay, so this, the drifting void. Yeah, track that on the map. Where is that? up here oh that would make sense they come from a black hole <laughs> um okay what else stop tracking that for the time being oh that's right there's an ability that we have whenever we enter a system oh the automated shipyard Um, 
the pentata. Yeah, this one. Um, you, after you're done, do the research project. Yes. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Um, no, do not pause. No, do not pause the game. That's why it pauses. I, I, I am a little escape press happy, and so sometimes I pause the game, and that actually pauses the game even after I exit that menu. So that's why it's sometimes paused, and I don't know why. Makes sense. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> it's going to there, getting all the Yogrilla. We actually have a lot of money now to do stuff. So, you know what? Let's, uh, well, let's upgrade these. Um, that'll eat a little bit of energy, but it'll be fine. Let's clear these out so that the planet can reach max. Uh, population. Let's uh, build a power plant here. Um, yeah, let's just start going through all our planets and seeing what we can do. Um, uh, do research. Build basic power plant. Um, population of it has a population of five now but I do not have the resources yeah I just don't have the resources okay um okay well now we know um a job prime can be upgraded uh this one is going getting that person right there um We'll make this another hydroponic so that the fifth one is right there. Um, actually, I need to start balancing the planets. So summary, we have six more food and we have three more slots. So yeah, we can we can definitely just fill those with uh, research labs of one type or another. Um. So what are all of my people doing? An automated shipyard repair, which we're probably going to get another ship from. Um, fleet order finished. Um, becomes the new owner. Yeah. Ooh, new three new ships. Um. Okay. So the. Very geological structure of Jamast 2A is indeed in flux, driven by what science officer Grodson assures us is a tectonic process as fascinating as it is eso esoteric. What is mo of more interest to the Gadleth, Gadleth is that we may be able to strategically halt the planet's ceaseless, chaotic self-transformation. In short, a near-instant stabilization of the planet into something slightly, if not entirely, more inhabitable is theoretically possible. Grodson estimates that an additional 200 energy credits, which we can definitely do, will be needed to power a thorough mapping of planetary activity and determine the validity of what the science officer has determined a surgical transforming strike. Actual terraforming lies beyond, or terraforming strike, uh, actual terraforming lies beyond our grasp at present, so this is an exciting opportunity. Um, either I just get plus six science or 50% chance... So what is this? Yem. The yem. Or wait, what? Okay, so this must be this guy. Because this guy's sleeping. At, uh, is it Janast or Jamast? I think that's Jamast. Okay. Oh yeah, Jamast too. 
Hmm. They already have a desert world, so I'm not terribly hungry for anything new. And plus six physics actually would not be bad. So we're actually just going to... The fact that it has now nine physics research. Okay, that is pretty awesome. Um, construction ship. Actually, let's start going through and building research stations. Because we have enough um, energy now to support it. So, research station. And I'm out of money. <laughs> oh, gosh, we needed the money to... Oh. Woe is me. Um, well, okay, then. <laughs> hmm. Um, did we... Yes, we did. What is... That is a continental world, which is right there, which has ancient mining drones. So, no thank you. But we can survey this one while we're waiting. Um... Void cloud. But yeah, this is not definitely not a uh, empire because right there. But anywho, I think that will be about it for this episode. Ooh, what an exciting term of, turn of events. <laughs> um, getting our frontier outposts back there and getting all of our places up and going just going <laughs> and it looks like we escaped being pincered in because it looks like we will absorb this star system before any of them decide to do anything with it because it'll be too far away I think for them to want to do anything with it which will allow us to jump over here and colonize this so I think we have secured our exit exit points to expanding. Not to mention, it looks like there are no empires on this arm or this arm in these areas. So the ability for us to expand is actually going to be quite exceptional. So anywho, um, if you want to be sure to catch the next episode in which we will actually probably start building up a well, actually, no, because we have no minerals. We'll, we'll be, we can't expand unless we have good infrastructure. So we'll be building up our infrastructure next time um, to ensure that we can aggressively expand more. So I, if you want to, I hope to see you guys in the next one. If you want to be sure to catch the next one, be sure to subscribe. Um, if you're enjoying the series, please leave a like so that I know to continue it. And if you want to, if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, please leave a comment in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.